Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Josh. Thank you very much for tuning into today's video. Today's video, what are you guys watching, guys? I am doing a question and answer with my mum. My mum, say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mum, her name is Michelle. Everyone say hello to Michelle, even though she actually won't see you saying hello to her. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be painful. But nevertheless, guys, let's get into these questions you guys ask me, and yeah, let's do this. I mean, she in. Josh filmed. Thank you very much for the question, my friend. You asked Josh's mum, what is the most embarrassing thing Josh has ever done when I was a kid? What's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done when I was a kid? <laughs> Go on, explain. Well, one of the many embarrassing things you've done as a kid. We went shopping and he decided to poo himself. But not only did he tell me that he pooed himself, he told the little old lady that was in the queue in front of us that he pooed himself and asked her, did she want to see it? <laughs> she said oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> she didn't want to see it then. She said no thank you darling. Question from Jangi. How did you get noticed? Uh, me getting noticed with my YouTube channel really I've been doing YouTube for a year now and in that year I've managed to gain 5,000 subscribers. That means that you guys are all amazing. Basically to get noticed guys, upload something different, be yourself because when someone's watching your channel they either watch it for the gameplay, like if it's in a really awesome gameplay, or they watch it for the personality of you. Basically, I've done that for a year now, and it's got me quite far. I've got 5,000 subscribers, which all of you guys are amazing. So, Jangi, keep at it, my friend. I wish you all the best of luck with your YouTube channel, and anyone that's watching this video that wants to start YouTube as well, I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope everything goes well for you guys. Kate Glenn wants to know, where in the world do we both want to go and why? It's got to be Vegas. We've already been. We haven't got to go back then. That is true. I just want to go back to probably Las Vegas again. We've been twice and it was a brilliant time when we went out there. Last time we went out there was like doom bugging in the desert and all that. And literally it generally was amazing. And the weather up there is absolutely beautiful. It's really hot as well. So Caitlin, hopefully that answered your question. If we went traveling, I would want to go back to Vegas or I would want to do a Route 66, which is sort of Vegas as well, but it's like the whole of America. I want to go back to Florida. That well. sounds cool. I want to go see Mickey. Got a question from Jack, 70615G. Hi, Zach. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite movie? Um, favourite movie... You like the turtles, don't you? <laughs> no, I don't like the turtles. Yeah, it's like the turtles. Favourite movie, um, thinking this comes at Christmas, hence that, the, the reason why we got the hats on. My favourite movie is probably like, you know you got like Home Alone? That's always like a favourite movie I love to watch at Christmas. Gets me in a Christmas spirit, gets me like ready and to go for Christmas, to open my presents for Christmas Day. Just like, I don't know, I just... Not if you haven't been good. What's your favourite movie, Mum? Christmas film. Any film. My favourite Christmas film has got to be either National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's a good film. Or Nativity, the one with Mr Poppy in. I love it. Pulse Nation, I've got two questions for you. You ready? Yeah. What is your dream PC specs? Oh, uh, I honestly don't know. I'll put them in the comments of this video, but my dream PC specs, uh, I don't know, I really like the PC I got now. It's perfect for what I need, and I wouldn't really want anything else like over the top because it'd just be pointless. But Pulse, I'll drop what I, like my dream PC specs will be either in the description or down in the comment section for you to look. Sorry I can't like answer it now, it's just I'm quite rubbish with PC specs to be honest. And would I be interested in coming to the next Insomnia? We Us did too. talk about me coming. Yeah, we did actually talk with my mum coming to Insomnia and just seeing what an Insomnia event is like because the next Insomnia is I-56 and that's in the NEC in away, Birmingham. Man. Yeah, it's very close actually. So if any of you guys go in, I will be going to that. So make sure if you see me, come over and say hello. And if I'm there, come and say hello. Yeah. I can sign stuff too. Yeah, my mum will sign whatever you want. I will. Lewis asks, would you rather quit YouTube or social media? Oh, good question, Lewis. I would probably quit social media. Just because with YouTube, I find more interaction with YouTube, and it's just a better, I find a better like 
fan base, for an example, with YouTube. Well, you probably quit social media when you don't do YouTube. I don't do YouTube. So you probably I'd quit, quit social media. No, I'd quit YouTube. Like, do social media. Okay then. Okay. And like Facebook. The Irish legend asks Q and A question to your mum. Are you proud of how far your son has come on YouTube? I am really proud of him. And I am really proud of him. He has worked really hard. He spends a lot of time on his videos, and he. <laughs> it's so cheesy. Cool. Proud that he stuck at it because Josh doesn't normally stick at anything. <laughs> be honest. It's not all he does is eat. Every video he seems to put in like his food. It's just. You know, he does have home cooked stuff as well. I do cook his meals. He hits me up with another question as well. To you, Josh, what are your goals in future? My ultimate goal of YouTube, Passes I said- his GCSEs would be good. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, guys. Keep all your fingers crossed. Legend hits me up with another question. You are awesome, my friend. Thank you very much for the question. You asked to you, Josh, what are your goals in the future? Well, for example, YouTube, my ultimate goal for YouTube, I've said this straight from the start, was to hit 100k. Just because you know when you hit 100k, you get that awesome silver plaque. And it's about this big, and I just want that so I can put up on my wall. So every day I wake up, I can just look at that and just gives me motivation to carry on through the day. It's just like, I don't know, it just gives me like, a good feeling just to try and get that like once you set your mind something I always believe if you set your mind something you can always achieve it so yeah legend I hope that answers your question random everything ask Josh why is your room so dark when you play games oh. slash our house is so dark Josh is like a vampire he comes at alive at bedtime but he'll come in and he turns all the lights off so we're sat by the light at the moment of the Christmas tree put the decks up so he likes doing that, but he can't sit in any room with lights on. He's a bit weird. This is the brightest this room's been in a long time. <laughs> uh, random, basically, I can't concentrate. Say if I'm playing a game and there's a light on in the cool of my eye, that will like stick in my head and that will automatically annoy me. So I gotta turn it off to focus on my game to come to the best of my abilities and destroy noobs on Black Ops 3. Random everything asks me another question. How much hours do you spend on your hair? I don't really spend that long, do I? Not really. I don't, I don't really spend that long. It's like, it probably takes me about 10 minutes, because literally what I do is I get the gel. It does that. I literally just go like this, and then like, put it down a bit, and then just like, head out the door to go to school, or whatever I'm doing. And yeah, I wish I could wear hats, but I don't, the hats just don't go well on me. Hoaxiv hits me up with a question. How does your mum feel about me doing YouTube? How do you feel about me doing YouTube? What's like your inner thoughts of me doing YouTube? Like when I started out, or? When you started out and just thought, God, what are you going to put in those videos? Now you know what you're doing. I'm proud of you for doing YouTube. <laughs> You've done well. William Crossley asks, how do you balance YouTube and schoolwork? Oh, <laughs> good question. Uh, how I balance YouTube, he basically, balance it. with YouTube. With me, I <laughs> balance it for him. <laughs> Because he is useless. He'd spend all day on his computer, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Minecraft, <laughs> you name it, he's doing it. Everything bar revising. So, coming up towards his uh, maths GCSE, which he had a couple of weeks ago, we had to set in a little schedule where basically I told him he either pulls his socks up or he's never going to be set foot on his computer again. My socks were up for. Stephen wants to know why did you start YouTube and did you think you would get this big? Uh, basically, how did I start YouTube? How my YouTube sort of channel started off, for example. I never used to watch YouTube videos really at all. My friends got me into watching YouTube videos. They were all watching syndicates like Zombies videos and way before that. When he'd done his day in the life of him going to college, I actually remember. I remember my friends telling me about his channel. Since then, I subscribed to him. I stuck with his channel. And then I was like, I just got inspired by Syndicate, basically. He's like... He's the reason why I started YouTube, you could say, and thank you to all my friends that got me starting to watch YouTube videos. Josh wants to know, how do you come up with interesting things to vlog each weekend? Uh, basically, what Basically, I'm... he's a nag <laughs> and doesn't like sitting around on weekends. No, on weekends, right? No, on weekends. Some people are like, on weekends, they sit in their bed, they lay in their bed all day, they watch films, and don't get me wrong, I do like doing that. I like but... doing that. But no, we don't. I get up, I... Get up family, 
get up, scream like that, I'm like, Where what are we, we doing today? Food, Where are we you? going today? What are we doing? Are we going to have a food today? <laughs> and then I don't stop nagging until we go out. And then I record it all, edit it all, make it to a weekend vlog. And you guys absolutely enjoy my weekend vlog. Out of all of my series on my YouTube channel, you guys enjoy the weekend vlog so much. Workable Direct asks, can you hit the whip? Can we hit the whip? You already know who it is! Watch me whip, now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nay nay. You already know who it is! Watch me whip, now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nay nay. So the last question we got today guys is from Courtney Palmer Jones. You've been subscribed to my channel from ages ago. I just want to say thank you very much for all the support. You Hi Courtney. <laughs> you have asked, what's your favourite thing about Josh? Josh's mother. Ooh, my favourite thing about you. As much as you're an annoying little git, you've got a big heart. You have got a big heart. I'm going to bloody love you. Oh, oh my god. Right, so guys, that's been today's 5,000 subscriber Q and A. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment down below, and make sure to subscribe. Join the army, join this amazing family. We got growing on YouTube. We are growing every single day. Anything else you want to say to these awesome people as watching this video right now? Just thank you for supporting my baby boy. Drop a like, subscribe, tell your friends. And yeah, guys, that's been today's 5,000 subscriber Q and A. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And yes, bye bye.